It's Monday, so it's that time again where we go over my updated draft for the Fantasy Premier League season 2022-23. What has changed? We have changed formation and we have brought in some different players than in previous videos that we think could potentially be differentials. If you want to know how it's all changed and what my plans are for the beginning of the season, stay tuned because that's coming up next. <laughs> What the flock is going on and welcome to FPL Today. Thank you so much for joining me as we go over my updated draft for the 22-23 season. If you enjoy these updated draft videos, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And also check out Fantasy Football Hub where you can get Opta stats, articles and fixture tickers. Really signing up with them does help support the channel. And thank you so much to them for the support that they've given me as well. As we start this off with the goalkeeper and the defence, we have gone with Meslier. Now, if you watched the video yesterday, then I went over why I like Meslier quite a bit. I think Leeds are going to look better defensively. At least that's what I'm hoping for. And I do believe Meslier is a good shot stopper. Although Nottingham Forest goalkeeper situation does entice me a little bit as well. I have fond memories of Dean Henderson in goal for Sheffield United when he was on loan from Manchester United in a promoted side. So. The nostalgia in me is making me think Dean Henderson, but right now I've got Meslier in there at the five point million goalkeeper slot. And spoiler alert, the goalkeeper on the bench is Clayson, who is their backup goalkeeper at Leeds. So 8.5 million spent on that. We then got a defence of five men at the back, but yes, Nico Williams is there. Now, Nico Williams' first fixture, I actually quite like the looks of, and I'm hoping that he does have some good attacking threat in the system that Nottingham Forest play. But mainly my defence is made up of the four other men. We've got Trent Alexander-Arnold and Cancelo, who have been mainstays of my draft. But we've got James back in at 6 million because part of me just wants that coverage of Chelsea's defence. I could go without coverage of Chelsea's defence, but then I probably want coverage of Spurs. So Perisic is a possibility for me in this position, and that would save me 0.5 million. Speaking of which, I've got 1.5 million in the bank with this setup. So easily a lot of room for manoeuvring if I need to change it at the beginning of the season. But you've got a really good back three of James, Trent and Cancelo with attacking threat and potential for clean sheets. And we've got Matty Cash as well because of Aston Villa's start to the season. Potentially, I think at 5 million, he could be one of those differential players that helps me kind of get above the rest and if I really think of it, Trent, James and Cancelo are going to be very popular. So I need one of those players that is going to be a difference maker for my season. And if not for my season, at least for the beginning of it. We can then move on to the midfield and you of course have got Salah and Son. I've said many times before, these are the two I really want. If Son was an 11.5 million striker, this would be a lot easier for me. But he's not. He's a £12 million midfielder. So that is £25 million spent on two players, which isn't ideal. But... I just want these two players at the beginning of the season. I think if I started with Haaland or Kane and I was wrong, it would hurt a little bit more than if I start with these two and I'm wrong. Outside of those two, we do have Saka at 8 million. He is that 8 million pound slot that I have talked about before. I think it's important because the likes of Mason Mount, Saka, Mares, Madison and Luis Diaz could all be important players this season. I don't know which one it's going to be. It, it could even be two of them, which would mean there needs to be some changes made to this starting team. But I definitely want at least one £8 million midfielder slot. So hopefully I can jump on the right bandwagon at the right time. And then Leon Bailey has taken the position that generally on my videos has been taken up by Martinelli or Neto. Bailey has had a good start to the preseason with Aston Villa. And there's a potential that he could be a starter in the Premier League. If that is there, I do think he could be an explosive option and I do like the start Aston Villa have to the season. We will have to wait and see with this though and that's why I have some money in the bank because it will be easy enough for me at the beginning of the season to change Bailey if I want to keep the rest of the team set up how it is. And then finally up front, we only have one striker in the starting eleven. how we plan to start the season anyway and that is Gabriel Jesus again trying to jump on those good Arsenal fixtures, hoping Arsenal have a great start to the season. And I would say the one thing I'm a bit concerned about is the fact that there is, apart from Son, very little Spurs coverage because my approach is going to be, I need Liverpool players. I should ideally 
potentially have a Man City player extra other than Cancelo. I just I'm not 100% sure how that setup is going to be and whether Haaland is really the only option you should be going for. But I'd like two City, two Liverpool, and then probably two Spurs. Chelsea, I'm still not 100% sure about because of the influx of players. I don't know how that is going to set up. And I do want Arsenal players with their start to the season. So those are kind of the teams that I really want to focus on and get the players in for. And then we move on to the bench. And like I said, we've got Clayson there because he is £4 million and he's cheap. And he is the backup for Meslier. Then we've got Brozier and Undav, two strikers, of course, because we don't have three strikers in our starting eleven. We only have the one. Brozier, I'm very interested to see what happens with him. But he could be someone that is a kind of wasted slot. And I have money in there change him to someone else so Brozier I'm not too sure about but Tuchel has said he likes Brozier and there's been rumors of him potentially making moves Andreas Pereira is in there as well he's apparently on set pieces at Fulham which could be fantastic for us and then Undav is a bit of a punt but at Brighton who do create chances hopefully they've finally found the striker to put those chances away so guys let me know what you think of this team in the description down below and while you're there please do hit that like button and subscribe and support the channel your support does mean the world to me and keeps me going making these videos as often as I can. So keep the support up, guys. It's meant the world. I've been JNO. This has been FPL Today. And remember, it's all about the game.